So I've decided to experiment with making a prototype heated jacket. I have two of these cloth heater elements and they just plug into USB. I have tested them and they seem to draw about 1.8 amps each at 5 volts. So it's about 9 watts per cloth. And with that one powered up, if we get a thermal image, so there's that heater element, and I can feel it's getting warm in my hand. And I did run this for about 20 minutes, and I noticed that the USB battery also did warm up quite a bit as well. So I've decided as part of the build, I'm going to use some Samsung tablet batteries. So one battery for each, and I've also got two boards from portable USB batteries, which I'm going to connect up. And with these batteries also getting warm as well as the heater elements, that should provide some nice warmth inside the heater jacket. And safety is certainly a concern. You know, lithium-ion batteries heating up and homemade lithium ion projects which are wearable I mean you've got to be concerned about uh, batteries exploding um, you don't want something like the Galaxy Note 7 the Note 7 was re-released in some countries like South Korea as the fan edition but with a different model number so this is an original exploding edition of the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 I'm gonna power this up there it goes I'll just put that in the background. So if that does explode, hopefully I can get it on camera. That'd be pretty fun. Okay, let's get the build together. For the actual jacket, I'm just gonna use this $10 really thin thing. And the idea is that you wear this over your shirt, but then you put your coat on over the top. So your coat keeps the warmth in which uh, this will be generating and these two together I should be able to get 18 watts or so of heat inside my coat. Here's the inside of the jacket and I'm going to put the heating elements on the side so each side and then perhaps the tablet batteries can go at the back Got our little charging module, so we'll be able to charge via micro USB on each one. Okay, well, let's throw it together and have a go, see what happens. Okay, I've got the hookup wire. Okay, positive. Hmm. Okay, so that did light up. Let's see if that does it again. Yeah, there we go. Positive off first. And battery temperature. And negative. Done. Right. Okay, we're online with the second one now. There we go. We've got our two batteries ready. I'm going to throw this on there. Just on the side like that, that'll do. Now since I'm prototyping, I'm just going to use safety pins to hold the cloth heater element on. That's pretty good. Okay, side one is ready. Now we'll do side two. There's plenty of room on the back for the batteries. It's pretty clear where the heater element is, you can see it there. So it's pretty easy to avoid getting it near the safety pin. Okay, that's the two heating elements. Now, back to the batteries. That's 
pretty good. Number two. Now, for attaching the batteries, I've decided to use gaffer tape. Since this is an experimental prototype and not a final build, this should work just fine. I'm going to put more gaffer tape on. Okay, there we go, the basic build is complete. So these batteries have been sitting around for a while. I'm going to plug them in and let them charge up before I do an outdoor long range test. Okay, so I'm outside. It's about eight degrees Celsius and I've got the jacket on. It's been on for just a few minutes. It's definitely warm. In fact, I would say it's a bit too warm. And unfortunately, there's no external switch at the moment to turn it off. And there's no thermostat. So something like that's going to have to be added. So I'll open it up and have a look. Opening up my external coat. And you can pretty much see that... Uh, I'm really particularly warm there. All in all, uh, those two heater pads were $5 each, two $3 boards. Those tablet batteries, if you're buying them new, they're, they're about $25 each, and a $10 jacket. So for $70, I've got something that, if it was freezing cold, this would be really nice. Right now it's not particularly freezing cold, and I'm getting a bit warm. One thing is, whatever you do, don't wear a homemade heater jacket into an airport. I mean, airport security, they work pretty hard and they do a good job. The last thing they need is something extra to worry about. Otherwise, it's been a really good project. And if it's really cold, then I'm going to wear this. I just got to find some way of reducing the amount of heat. Oh, this is really a bit too warm. <laughs>